And yes, some players will use the wrist in this part of the stroke. But the fact is that shortly after contact, the tip of the racket will be positioned towards the outside, which is an indicator that the wrist indeed is passive at and shortly after contact on all high level forehands. Now, why would this be the case? Well, let's take a look at the wrist. Now let's position my wrist at the proper contact. Let's make sure it's the exact contact that I have in a semi-Western grip. So my wrist would be like this. So I'm gonna let go of the racket and you can see my wrist in this position. Now, if I wanted to move my wrist in isolation, I'll just hold my arm right here and I'll try to move my wrist in a vertical fashion. You see how far I get? The wrist is completely locked, which means that even if I wanted to move my wrist, I can't move it past this point. So what ends up happening is that I turn the entire forearm like this. This would indeed be possible.